Hey guys, welcome back to the layout once again. Uh, well, last time what we did here was uh, actually build the framework for the uh, the lift out section here. Uh, and since then, we've actually, we have some plywood up on top. We still need to cut that, so this is just a little bit of overhang here. Uh, we've also laid the cork and the track. But what we're going to work on today, hold on, i got to step in front of you. Sorry about that. Uh, is actually working with the electrical connection. So, um, as you can see here, I've run the bus wires up to about this point. And what we're going to do is uh, wire up these bus wires to connectors on either end of the, uh, the lift out here. So you can see, uh, what are these? Just uh, These are just kind of like RC car battery plugs, um, if you can see there. These two prongs on either end is uh, where we will solder our uh, bus wires to, and we'll put this heat, heat shrink tubing over on top of it. Um, and you can see these just pull apart really easily, and then these two tabs slot in uh, to those holes there and that should resume the electrical connection so we'll do that on this end and this end um, and this is for kind of more of a like a semi-permanent bridge so if you're looking for like a quick easy in and out uh, more of like a, an access bridge that you'd use um, to get in and out of a layout uh, frequently then you probably don't want to go with this route okay I'm just gonna throw things uh, but uh, for us this is gonna work perfectly because uh, Whenever we want to take this out, we'll just unplug it, and it'll probably be after an operating session. So anyway, we got our soldering iron, got some solder. We're going to run our bus wires underneath here. I'm going to show you wiring it up, and then hopefully we'll get it under operation. So uh, let's get started. Now that we have the tracks cut um, and then a couple of holes in our cross members underneath here, uh, we're now ready to uh, feed our track bus in. So I just cut a couple of pieces to kind of a rough length. Um, we'll have to trim these up in a second. But I'm just going to put these in here temporarily um, and this will feed power to our track. Uh, but in order to do that, we're going to have to drop a few feeders. So you can see there are two joints right here. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Drill a few holes, uh, drop some feeders in, um, and then we'll move on from there. So I didn't really show you um, the process of putting on the feeders, uh, but really it's just super boring, so I didn't want to include that. But we've got uh, one pair here, and then one pair here, uh, so those are soldered. Uh, but we actually don't need to solder the other ends of the feeders to the bus that runs underneath, because we can just use these suitcase connectors. So suitcase connectors are actually super easy to use. Um, if I can focus here, you can see this uh, outer hole is actually open, well the inside one actually has a cap on the end, so you put your smaller feeder wire on the inside and then you clip your uh, large bus wire to the outside and then you'll push down this metal tab which will uh, kind of join the wires together in a sense and then you'll flip this over the top and close it. So I'm going to do that, at least attempt to do that with our color coordinated white wires here. Alright, so there you have it. You can see if I get this one out of the way, this connection's uh, now made. So those wires stuck together. And now I gotta do that with the, uh, I guess, the other four or three, because it looks like this one came out. So let me work on that really quick. Alright, so with the uh, suitcase connectors on and the feeders all connected, um, I guess we're gonna work on soldering up the connectors. And what I've decided to do is take uh, this piece, and if you can imagine this side is the part that will actually plug in, I'm gonna put this one. Uh, on the actual lift out um, because, and I'll, of course I'll do one on each end, so one down here and one down there, but I kind of imagine that the lift out's being plugged into the layout and not the other way around, so we're just going to solder these two tabs uh, to these, uh, the bus wires here. I'll just determine, I think I'm going to do the, the flat one down here is going to be white and then the tall one's going to be red, um, and then I'll do the same thing with this one, with these tabs, except under the permanent bench work right there. So, um, instead of Sitting down and soldering this, uh, that'll go kind of slow and I'll probably get in the way. I'm just going to go ahead and do that and then I'll come right back. So I'm really happy with the way these uh, plugs turned out. As you can see, uh, the 
bottom like flat tab, I guess, uh, which will be parallel to the ground. That's our white wire. I don't know if you can see that over here. Um, and this 14 gauge wire is actually kind of stiff enough that these stay upright, don't really droop. Um, so you can see they're just kind of like suspended there. Uh, all I did was just put a little solder on the tab and a little solder on the stripped wire there. Um, and then I just kind of brought them together until the solder melted. Uh, and now that's a really strong bond. You can also see that I put that heat shrink tubing on. Um, probably noticed I missed one here, but as long as one of them's covered up, it's fine. Plus, there's no way those wires could touch because that's, uh, that's too stiff to even come together. They'd have to break off before that happens. So, that looks good. Uh, we've got this wired in. I also got our uh, female plugs down here on the, the permanent bench work. So, once again, the white wire is the bottom tab, and those will slot in. Uh, same deal over here. And I think what's going to happen, this will eventually be fastened closer to the layout. So there's a little notch in there you can see. So it's probably going to slot in there. Um, and this one comes out from the uh, bench work, whereas uh, you can kind of see this is kind of inset. And I wanted this to be a little further in so that when we put this down on the bench work that it doesn't get caught in between. Um, so that's why that's a little shorter here and here. So anyway, uh, I'm going to show you, give you a little quick demonstration of putting this together. Then we'll uh, start it up and see if we can get trains to uh, turn on and run on the bridge, and then we should be done. Alright, so sorry it's so dark under here, but uh, one thing that I forgot to mention uh, while we are just up on the uh, yard area over there, uh, is that I actually kind of insulated uh, these holes here in the sense that I just kind of shoved some uh, extra rubber tubing that was around um, these 18-gauge uh, wires initially, so I just put that in there to make this a little tighter because when you use this plug, I don't want these bus wires sliding in and out because it could tug on the feeder wires and we don't want that. So anyway, that's locked in place now. Um, but as you can see, I'll bring my female plug over here and then you basically just take this uh, and then, I mean, obviously you just put them together, it's nice and smooth, but uh, I'm just happy with the way it turned out. You can see the wires are on there pretty tight and then you can even just grab the wires to pull that apart and it works out pretty smoothly. So going to put those together. Alright, and then we also got this one, so I just got to turn that. Alright, so there we go, connections made. So now we finally get to see if this thing actually works. Uh, I have the DCC system on, but I've unplugged this end uh, of the connection here, so I'm going to put these plugs together and if the locomotive comes on then we're good. Alright, good deal. Okay. Well, actually, I'm, I'm half surprised it worked. I thought I was going to screw something up, but it uh, looks like all the electrical connections are good. So, anyway, uh, hopefully that video uh, was interesting in some way. It wasn't exactly a how-to, but hopefully if you're doing a similar thing, maybe this will give you some ideas, maybe not. But anyway, that's how we did our lift-out bridge. Uh, keep in mind that I'll be working on the electrical connections on our drop bridge across the room there. So, look out for that video and plenty more soon, um, and hope to see you guys next time.